Hello and Namaste to everyone. I hope you all are doing well. So today in this video, we are going to discuss a very famous and a very basic theorem of geometry called as Pythagoras theorem. So what does Pythagoras theorem states? Pythagoras theorem states that the sum of square of base and height is equal to the square of hypotenuse. That means if the length of this is A, length of this is B and length of this is C. Right? If the length of this side is equal to a centimeter, length of this side is equal to b centimeter and length of this side is equal to c centimeter in a right angle triangle, then a square plus b square is equal to c square or we can write base whole square plus height whole square is equal to hypotenuse whole square right so now we are going to discuss the proof of this Pythagoras theorem so let's see which method we are going to discuss in this video now these are four triangles these are four identical right angle triangles right angle triangles with base equal to a centimeter height equal to b centimeter and Hypotenuse, hypotenuse equal to c centimeter. Now, if I rearrange these square, uh, these triangles, then it will form a large square. Let's see. Right? Now, if you will see, all these four triangles, when arranged in this way, are forming an empty square here, right? And what is going to be the area of this empty square? See, this is also hypotenuse for this triangle. This is also hypotenuse for this triangle. This is also hypotenuse for this triangle. And this is also hypotenuse for this triangle. So, this is equal to C, C, C and C. So, it is a square with length equal to C centimeter. And what is the area of square? Side square? Right, area of square is equal to side square. So the area of this square is going to be equal to C square. Now see, I'm just going to rearrange this, these triangles. And you're going to see a very interesting thing when I'm going to rearrange these triangles. Okay, so I have just rearranged these triangles and if you will see the outer square, right? This square, the area of outer square remains unchanged, right? If you will do it with a triangle figure or with something of triangle block, you will see that the outer bigger square, the area of outer bigger square remains unchanged. Now see, what is going to be the area of this square? What is going to be the area of this square? The area of this square is going to be nothing but this is A, this is A, this is A because this is exactly parallel to this, right? See, this side is, sorry, this side is exactly parallel to this side and this side is exactly parallel to this side. So, this is a square with a length of a centimeter. So, the area of the square is going to be a square. In the similar manner, the area of this square is going to be equal to b square, right? Because this is b, b, b and b. So, area of this is equal to b square. Now, see, the area of the outer bigger square remains unchanged because I've just rearranged that figure and if you will see that the area, if you will see then you will notice that the area of bigger outer square remains unchanged and the area of these triangles is going to be the same, right? So if area of outer square remains unchanged and the area of these triangles are same, then from the first figure then the empty area, right? This is equal to B square here and A square here, right? And when we arrange the figure, 
when all the uh, when all the triangles hypotenuse were touching each other then the area of that square was equal to c square so can i conclude that the area of empty spaces is equal to both right the area of empty space in the first figure is equal to the area of empty space in the second figure what was the area in the first figure of empty space it was c square by empty space i mean area apart from the area of triangles so in first figure it was equal to c square in second figure it is equal to sorry this is yeah in second figure it is equal to a square plus b square right so have we reached to our conclusion yes you can see we have reached to our conclusion that is c square is equal to a square plus b square or hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus height square so i hope the proof of pythagoras theorem was clear to all of you if you have any doubts please mention it in comment section also do like this video and subscribe to my channel for more such interesting videos have fun enjoy learning thank you